Okay, so on the phone version, I'm going to show you how to place your trade on cross. Okay, so you click on the isolated just right here. So click on isolated and go back to cross. Then confirm and uh, open your trade at uh, wherever you want it. So I'm going to open this trade at this. Uh, let me see, I'm going to open it right here. That's 2.8289. So I'm going to open it at 2.82. 2.8289 so i'm going to go with um 50 percent of my capital okay i'm going to go in with 50 then i'm going on long boom so but after i open my trade right here i need to look for where the stop loss could be okay so the stop loss uh i need to go on a on the third high time frame so i'm looking at stop loss should be here but this is a long ride for me, so I could actually wait for the tree to come a little bit, bit more down before I could open this tree. But this should be where my stop loss could be. That's 2.7906. So, boom, I'll go, then click on modify, then take this one right here, take profit slash stop loss. So, this is your stop loss right here, okay? So, click on it and uh, 2.7 words let's go back and check confirm um 2.7676 let me go with that 2.7676 so 2.7676 then where is your take profit so um we can still come back to do this just confirm before you go back to confirm your take profit so my take profit could be right here 3.1969 3.1969 so take profit should be the one at the top 3.1969 so now when you look at this this is what i'm gonna make 95.97 dollars and uh, that is 130 percent of my capital then this is what i'm gonna lose if it goes against me i'm gonna lose 15 dollars which is 21 percent of my capital please confirm which i'm good to go with that so once this order is being taken, once this my order is taken, you will see it will come to this open position right here. Everything will move over to open position. So I will have the other order right here. Okay. So but right now the order is not yet taken. So I have seventy five dollars at as my available balance. Now this seventy five dollars is going to be what that will be used to um to maintain my open balance. Now, what, why do I say maintain my open balance? If, for instance, now the market goes against me, okay? So, um, this right here, this right here, this open order I have right here has its own uh, liquidation price, okay? If, let's say, my liquidation price is going to be here, a moment, let's see, we'll go back to If, for instance, my liquidation price is supposed to be this place, I have my stop loss, okay? Once I get here, instead of my account to be liquidated, okay, that $75 which is left in my balance, this $75 right here, will now be used to be to be uh, to top up my account. So instead of me to be liquidated right here, I will still have others going on. And my my trade can still be open until my $75 could no longer um, can can no longer hold my account. By then, my account cannot be liquidated, and I'll lose my one hundred and fifty dollars, which is the total of my um, trading capital. Okay, so on the on the derivative, which is the total of my trading capital on the derivative. Remember, I am I opened this trade with fifty percent of my um, capital, which is um, one hundred and twenty five one hundred and fifty dollars. So, this is how the um, the ice cross work. But on the isolated part, I'm going to make another video on, on the isolated part. Okay. The isolated part, let me just explain in brief. The isolation, okay, the isolation works in, in one single way. Let's say I open order right now, open another order with uh, my balance, which is $75. So let me open another order with my um, $75. Let me open it at, zero, at $2 and I'm going on long. So I will take 100% of my capital. So, okay. 100% and I want to go on long at two dollars two dollars right here. So I'll click on um, 
I can click on my take profit, it does not matter. I can do this later or I can do this before the order is being opened. But let's do it before the order is open. So click on your take, take profit. This is it right here. This is your take profit right here. So click on take profit. And I'm on long, I'm not on short. So you have to be on long. So click on your long, then your stop loss right here. What is going to be your stop loss? Your entry price was at $2. So my stop loss could be at 1.8. The time is 1.89. I will be losing 55% of my capital, which I'll be losing, which is going to be amount to um, $28. Now my take profit could be at 3. And my take profit at 3, that means I'll be making $262. And um, that is like 500%. Oh, that's that's what I'm gonna be making. So if I'm okay with that, I'm gonna click on confirm. Then boom. Once I confirm, this <coughs> this does not mean that my trade has opened. I see I have to click on the long, which is the buy button. Now if you can see, I don't have oh okay the main balance. Uh, it looks like I didn't put everything. Now if you can see, I have twenty two dollars left on my balance. Okay, that means um few has I open with with few accounts okay so now i have two orders right here one is cross which is the first one and the other one is isolated so now on this isolated part okay remember we've already opened our take profit and stop loss before the order was open okay so we did that already now remember on this one right now on the isolation on the isolated account if uh if the market goes against me on my stop loss, if it hits my stop loss, which is zero point, um, which is one point eight nine, if it hits my stop loss, which is one point eight nine, I am going to lose only twenty eight dollars. I'm going to lose only twenty eight dollars. So that means my account has been locked with that specific amount which I opened this trade with. I will not lose more than what I deposited. Now the isolated means. You have isolated, you have picked a portion of your capital to trade. Cross means everything in your trading, in your um, derivative is going to be taken. If the market is going against you, everything in your derivative will be taken. But while the cross, and um, while the isolated means only what you open your trade with is going to be taken. So you can have more, um, you can have more control to to manage your risk more on the isolated but on the cross market just keeps going market just keeps going so that's that if you have any question go ahead and ask and this same example i gave i will also do it on the phone on the system version and we can all see it together